Hi, I'm Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. The indie film world exploded in the early 90s with the arrival of a whole bunch of gifted filmmakers and actors like Quentin Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, Kevin Smith, Yahoo Serious. Maybe not Yahoo Serious. But it was a wild time for loud, ballsy, and decidedly masculine cinema. And it was a lot of fun. But honestly, the filmmaker who always stood out the most for me wasn't one of those guys. Or in fact, one of any guys. It was Alison Anders, whose subtle, deft, and personal filmmaking style didn't draw too much attention to the fact that she was a gifted stylist and every bit the hardcore movie fanatic as those other filmmakers. She just hit it better. Gas Food Lodging came out in 1992, told the story of a family of women trying just to make it through life without destroying themselves or each other, and every time I watch it, it gives me something new. Uh, we should tell you that this trailer is not the original trailer for the film, unfortunately. There's no good versions of that. There's a really bad looking one on YouTube. So this is a nice HD trailer for the uh, recent Arrow release on Blu-ray. I uh, wish we could find the original trailer, but we couldn't. This will at least give you a sense of the film. And in fact, that Arrow Blu-ray is amazing. So this is Gas Food Lodging. Gas Food Lodging tells the story of three women, a mother and her two daughters, just struggling to make it through life and to find a way to live together in a trailer park in a dusty desert town in New Mexico. It's told through the eyes primarily of the youngest daughter, played by Feruza Balk, who's going through her own coming-of-age process. It's a remarkably sensitive, honest, and heartfelt film without an ounce of sentimentality. And don't be fooled, it bears virtually no resemblance at all to the book it's purportedly based on. Alison Andrews just went wild with this one, using the story as a springboard into an exploration of how women live with each other and with the men they're involved with, and even how to live with themselves to, in the words of Sam Peckinpah, come home justified. One of the many things that makes the film work so well is the fantastic casting. From seeing James Brolin get to play the weakness and vulnerability of the Marlboro Man type he plays so well, to the absolutely magnificent casting of the three women. I can't think of the last time I saw a movie about a family in which everyone actually looked related. Look, The Godfather is the greatest movie ever made, but how the hell is James Caan Al Pacino's brother? Alison Anders is my favorite filmmaker from the 90s indie explosion that gave us Quentin Tarantino, Kevin Smith, Robert Rodriguez, and so many other guy-centric filmmakers. In some ways, her movies are the toughest of the bunch. She avoids sentimentality like the plague, genuinely loves her characters, and gives each and every one of them real moments of grace and humanity without running away from who they are.